Hey guys, Monica here with Script Doll, and I am particularly excited about this new script, 10 B2B cold intro emails. Now, you might be thinking, Monica, cold emails? Those suck. Yeah, most of them do. I'm going to agree with you. But these templates show you how to have them not suck so that you can use them to find your prospects and grow your business. So let's jump in. With this script, you get 10 different emails, all with a different open, so that you can sort of pick and choose what would work best for the prospect that you are trying to get an intro with. So I've got some tips for success here that are really important. And I'm gonna start and go through these because I feel like if you understand these, then you will get a much better response rate to your cold emails. The first one is, your goal with the email is to find out if the prospect is a good fit for you, not close the deal. You're not trying to seal the deal here, you're just trying to get in the door. Also, every cold email should have an email signature that includes your full name, the position that you have at your company, your company name, your direct phone number, your company URL, and optionally a Skype name or relevant social media links for you. This is super important to keep out of the spam folder because you want the client that you're about to talk to to be able to contact you if they're ready and because that way it doesn't look like a canned spam email. Also, your email should look like they come from you. They should be text except maybe an image or a video that you insert. It should never look like a bot sent them. Again, this is another way to stay out of the spam folders with these and you know that's really important to get your message delivered. Personalize, personalize, personalize. I cannot tell you enough about personalizing. Take five minutes per person that you're going through. And if it is a, a prospect you really, really want, take more time and personalize it really well. If you do this right, you're gonna see a 20, 30% reply rate. Get into what their jobs are. If you can find, you know, blog posts that they wrote that show pain points. For example, if something, um, say your prospect wrote a blog post and some of the customers at the comment level said something, you know, blah, 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 then put that little quote in there on how your company can fix it. Definitely use their correct name. If you're prospecting a Michael, see if his name is Mike. Or if you're prospecting a Jennifer, see if she goes by Jen. Make sure to get their name correct. Also, speak to them candidly and as a peer. You don't want to sound like a robot or like a corporate bot. Nobody wants to talk to them. You know, everybody is a person and they want to talk to real people, not corporate bots. Also, these are templates, right? So mix and match as you see fit. If you see a close that you like better in one, use that. If you see an open you like in one and, you know, want to put a different PS at the bottom, mix and match it. These are templates, you guys. You're supposed to edit them and make them your own. Um, always give them a way out. We've done that in the, the PS step that says, hey, if you're the wrong person, let me know who the right person is. Or if you don't want to hear from me, let me know that too. At the end of the email, always include an ask ask for something. You you want something from this email. This isn't just like a, hey, it's nice to know you email. This is a, I want a meeting, or I want you to sign up for the free trial. This is an ask email, so ask. Also, follow up, follow up, follow up. You should have anywhere between three and seven touch points. Just because somebody ignores your first email does not mean that they're not interested. It probably either means that they didn't get it, or they were too busy, or it might mean that, you know, it doesn't, it's not a good fit. But you don't know that until you follow up. You follow up until they tell you no. Also, never bulk send cold email. Like that is the fastest way to the spam folder. Do not send bulk email at all. You guys, you can totally ramp up an agency with this. Um, Experiment 27, the guy that started that named Alex Berman used cold email to like ramp up and he also uses it for his clients and they are making crazy money over there, you guys. Cold email works when you do it right. So follow these tips for success. And then now let's get into the actual emails. We have 10 emails for you guys to try. The first is a great one because it is the referred by cold email. This is great if you have an acquaintance and they referred you. They said, hey, you should reach out to so-and-so. You can use this template. It's almost guaranteed to get an open because of the subject line. This is an amazing subject line. And by the way, you guys, subject lines matter, but so does the first little bit of text because you guys all know in your Gmail or on your mobile, you get the little text preview. So make sure 
that you've got your prospect's first name right. The next one is if you have a common acquaintance, but they didn't actually give you an intro. So the common acquaintance cold email is like, hey, I was browsing around on LinkedIn and saw we had a mutual connection with blah, blah, blah. And then you want to briefly explain your connection. So we went to college together or we played intramural sports together. And then you're going to include something specific you've researched about that person that's impressive. Go to their LinkedIn. Did they have some great results on their resume there? Talk about that. More recent, the better. Look for blog posts that they've written that say stuff. You know, it could even be, you know, your company's whatever is really impressive, but it would be even better if you would say, you know, your contribution to your company's blah, blah, blah is really impressive. If they've got a blog post that's recent, reference that. You're looking for those sorts of things. And then you're gonna follow this up with a, how about a 12 minute call? This one has got the chat intro before it, but how about a 12 minute call? And you always wanna include a specific date and time with a time zone. Now this, you probably wanna test. Some people are turned off by the specific date and time, but most people like it, especially busy people, because then I can just look at my calendar and be like, yes, no. And again, we've got the PS here to make sure to give them an easy out. The next one is the congratulations cold email. This one is if you've got a Google alert to notify you that something cool is happening with their company, you can use that as an intro. Just be like, hey, congrats. Like I've heard about this and it's really awesome. Um, I think that we can help you continue your impressive momentum with blah, blah, blah from our product. So when I say blah, 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 that is something very specific that can help them achieve more momentum. So this is where, you know, Maybe you saw some company news that wouldn't necessarily fit your product. So don't send this email in that case, send a different one. The next one is the replace or assist an open position cold email. This is if they're hiring. So check their job boards and see if they're hiring for something. And then use this to basically say, you know, we can help with that hire or we can replace that hire. Now replace is a little bold. So use sparingly, or if that's the kind of person you are, use it and see if it works for you. The other thing with cold email, you guys, is to test, 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 and see what works for your company and your tone of voice. Some of these emails are very formal and some are very bold, like this next one, which is the bold bribe email. Now, this one is very brief and very bold. So if you are not this kind of person, don't use it. But if you are, then go for it. This gets results because basically you're bribing them to meet you with something that they love. So if they love whiskey, then say, hey, I'm gonna bring you a bottle of whiskey. You know, what's your favorite kind? And then you guys bring a premium bottle. Um, don't bring like, you know, normal Jack Daniels, bring like the nice Jack Daniels. So the bribe should be, you know, depending on the person, 50 to 100 bucks, you know, more if you're really interested and wanna impress, but that's up to you. Something of interest cold email. Use this when you know you sort of have been keeping up with them and it's just something interesting that you wanna bring up. This works well for like a blog post that they have maybe have written or something that they put in LinkedIn on one of their LinkedIn groups, something like that. So this is great to say, hey, this was interesting. The benefits list cold email. This one, you guys, is just a pretty standard, like, hey, here's the benefits that I can deliver to your company. So you can make this into a short video. If you guys can demo something via video um, with your benefits, turn this into a video that is specific to them and it'll work a lot better for you. If you've been to an event and you met this person, maybe they were the speaker or maybe you got interrupted and you couldn't have a full conversation with them, then go ahead and send them this, hey, I shook your hand at this event email and hey by the way like I think we can help you do blah 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 which of course is what your company is helping them do then there's the classic QVC cold email the Q is ask a question V is add value and the C is close with a call to action so this email is pretty classic it works well that's why it's a classic and last but not least is a video demo with a free trial cold email so in this one you're actually gonna give a really short, fast intro, and then you're gonna jump straight into a very short demo, 30 seconds. You wanna tell the customer or the prospect how much time they're about to invest in this video, and then say, hey, did you like that? You can get a free trial or shoot me a message if you have any questions. You can see that this text in this is very formal, and you feel free to change any of these other templates to match this sort of informal voice that this last one has. Or if you guys are a more formal company, you can do that too. Just match it to your thing and use these cold email templates with tons of success. I would love to hear your story. If you're wondering how to get the person's email address, I've got a few resources for you that I'll put in the comments below.
If you're a script all user, this script is now available in your email sequence section in your scripts. If you're not a current script all user, look below to find how you can get this script.